Since Westboro Baptist Church is Calvinistic, one could ask, is there any Calvinistic justification for their practice of funeral picketing? Many find funeral picketing to be the oddest and most vicious thing. Now they say, don't worship the dead because they say funerals are a form of idol worship since they say we are worshiping the bodies. Kelvin does have a section in his Institutes of the Christian Religion Volume 1 Chapter 11. It is unlawful to attribute a visible form to God and generally whoever sets up idols revolts against the true God. Generally when we consider idols we're thinking about the Catholic Church and things of that nature or of pagan gods and that's what Kelvin is referring to so literally he may not be referring to funerals but perhaps it is a logical way of getting there take this on page 109 therefore when you prostrate yourself in veneration representing to yourself in an image either a god or a creature you are already ensnarled in some superstition. They would say that funerals are people praying over the dead bodies. Like in the song Signs of Theirs, they say don't pray over their dead bodies. So they see funerals as a form of superstition and therefore they find it their role to pick at the funeral to warn us of the superstition. Since Christians don't care as much about this life as the next life, they just see it as a way of passing through. Perhaps that is a justification for warning people. As Fred says, dying time is truth time. Now, I'm not saying I agree with this. I'm just trying to understand where they come from. Understanding is very important, my friends. Now, take a look at this other passage. For those who assert that this was not done hair throw and within our memory still not being done life shamelessly, for why did they prostrate themselves before these things? Why did they, when about to pray, turn to them as if to God's ears? Indeed, what Augustine says is true, that no one thus gazing upon an image prays or works without being so affected that he thinks he is heard by it or hopes that whatever he desires will be bestowed upon him. Now that describes their situations in the funerals. Is Kelvin having a point? Would Kelvin say it's okay to have a funeral like this? It's hard to tell. He didn't address that specifically, so we only have logic to 